Hi everybody, my name is Denise Yesback Moore and I'm with HowCraftCollection.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this three row macrame bracelet. It features the new faceted jersey beads just added to HowCraftCollection.com. And um, here we go. Okay, you need some sort of bead board. I'm using this foam bead board. You can use a clipboard with document clips or just a regular macrame board. We're gonna cut three lengths of 20 inch cord. You can use any cord you want. I am using um, wax linen cording, but um, you just need to make sure that it fits inside your bead hole. Uh, so we just attached our cords. We're gonna cut a 20, I'm sorry, a 60 inch length of uh, wax linen cording. We're gonna pass the cord under the strands and then we're gonna bring them up to the middle. And um, I start out by just forming, forming a knot. Okay, so we're gonna perform three square knots. So the first knot, that we're gonna do, it goes under and then up, and then you take the other side, pull it through, should look like this, and then bring it up. Okay, so one knot is a half square knot, two knots is a square knot. So now we're gonna go to the opposite side. We're gonna pass the cording underneath, bring it up, so it crosses this cord. Bring the other side of the cording, pull it through the other side. And then we're gonna bring it up. Okay, so we have one square knot. Now for square knots, you alternate sides. So we're starting on this side first. We're going back through. So there is our knot and then we're going to go back under pass the cording through okay so now we have two then we're going to go back under crossing up here taking this cord coming through there okay and then one more time Okay, so there's the start of our bracelet. To save time, I already um, strung all the beads onto another board, so I'm gonna switch that out. Okay, so here's my other smaller board. So we need to position the strands in the right position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath one strand and then we're gonna pull it up. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. One strand, whoops, and we're pulling it up. Okay, so do you see how they're right in the middle now? Okay, we're gonna slide the center bead up and we're going to create a half square not just on the center strand not on these two strands just on the center okay we're gonna pull that tight we're gonna go to the side bead and we're gonna pull the bead up then we're gonna pass it under one cord pass it back under this cording right here. And then we're gonna hold it. And we're gonna pull it up, kinda like at an angle. Okay, now we're gonna go the other side. We're moving our bead up. Then 
We're passing the cording under only this strand right here. And then we're going back underneath. And then we're pulling it to the side up. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the center. We're moving that bead up. And we're um, creating all of our half square knots from this side. Pick a side, either side. You just stick with the same side. Okay, so we're gonna go under, over. And then we're gonna pull it tight, mush it down. See how we're starting to form here? Okay, we're gonna move this out of the side. We're gonna bring the next one. Pass it under one strand, back through. And then pull it tight at an angle. And the same thing to the other side. So we're going back through. We passed it under. We're holding it down. We're pulling it tight, pulling it up. And then just kind of mush them down. Now we're going to the center bead. Okay. And we're forming our half square knot. Moving it up pulling it tight, moving this cord, bringing up our next bead, passing the cord under one, back underneath, pulling it up. You can hold the cord right here, move it at an angle so it's nice and tight. Now we're gonna do the other side. We're moving our bead up. We're going under the one cording back underneath, we're pulling it up, and we're pulling it at an angle. We squish those down, now we're bringing up our center bead. We're going underneath to form our half square knot. Making sure it's nice and tight. Move up your bead. String under one cord, pass the cord back through, and then we're pulling up tight. Same thing with the other side. Going underneath, we're passing it back through the loop, and we're pulling it nice and tight. Moving up our center bead. We're, we're forming our half square knot. We're gonna pull that nice and tight. You can see how um, the design is forming. And this is actually um, really easy. Underneath, back through, pull tight. And um, once you get really good at this, it'll go very quickly. So you can make a lot of bracelets in a pretty short period of time. And they look very hard to make. So we're pulling up our bead. We're making our square knot only going, only going under the center strand. Oops, what did I do there? Sorry guys. Okay, under, over, pulling that up, pushing it down. We're going under this side, going back through. And we're pulling it up at an angle, moving our next speed. We're going under and back through. We're moving it up. Center bead. 
I really like the look of this um, blue and black. Originally I did um, a dark purple and green. That one turned out really pretty too. Okay, we're moving our bead up. We're passing this strand underneath. Holding it down, we're pulling it at an angle. Moving our bead up. Passing it underneath. Pulling it at an angle. Center bead. We're forming our square knot. Always going from the same side for the square knot. Okay, we're moving our bead up. Passing it under, going back through, pulling that nice and tight, moving our bead up, passing it under that side strand, pulling the bead up, center, once again square knot, or I'm sorry, half knot, half square knot from the from the bottom bead, always going on the same side. Okay, we're moving up our bead. We're passing it underneath, back through the loop. We're holding it tight and we're pulling. Move this up a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, and then there's our little center bead, forming the half square knot, pulling it tight, bringing up the black bead, passing it under, going back through the loop, Pulling it tight at an angle. Passing it under, going back through the loop. Pulling it tight at an angle. Okay, so now we're down to our last bead. So we're gonna move that bead up. And we want this end to match this end. So now we are going to form um, three square knots and a half square knot to match this end all under the, all under the cords. So remember when we do this, you have to switch sides now. Okay. So we're going to bring that up. We're pulling it nice and tight. So we started from this side. So now we're forming our next knot on this side. Okay, so now we have one, one and a half, two, Two and a half, three, and we're just going to do one more just because I formed a knot on there and I want it to be um, equal lengths. Okay, so there we have it. It's um, but equal in length. So now we're going to use our GS Hypo Cement. And with wax linen cording, I can trim it here and then glue. Um, some of the other cords that you use, you may have to glue it first and then trim the cord and glue the knot. Okay, so I'm going to trim it. Tuck that in. Trim the other side. Okay, so now we're going to glue in between the 
just a tiny little bit of glue right over where that is on each side right at the end. And then of course we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna glue that other side. And then we should let that dry. So let that dry for a moment while I get my, my glue done. Okay, so let's take it off the board and see how it looks. Looks pretty darn good. Um, now we're gonna make our slide for our macrame bracelet. So you're gonna trim the ends you wanna make sure when you trim it that you have enough room to slide it over your wrist. And then I just formed two um, overhand knots. We're gonna cross the cords. And I'm using needles on a clipboard. You can use document clips to clip each side down. So there we have it, we have it down. We're going to cut about 15, um, 15 inches of cording and we're going to pass it under all of the cords. We're going to bring it to the center. And form a simple knot. We're going to tighten that up. Push that back down. Okay, so now we're going to start creating square knots. You can do um, two to three, depending on um, what look you like. We're going to pass it back under. Get this little one. Okay, so there's one. One and a half. Two, two and a half, three. Okay, so with the wax linen, cor wax linen cording, I'm going to cut it now. With other cords, you may not be able to cut it yet. You may have to dab it with the glue first and then cut it. So let's cut these off. We're getting our GS Hypo Cement glue. Tapping it a little bit on each side. Making sure that that won't come off. Okay, now I'm gonna remove it from the bead board. And I'm gonna slide it just a little bit. Okay. the slide. Sometimes with the wax linen cording, it, um, it kind of tacks up, so you have to move it a little bit to make sure it moves. See, now it's moving. Okay, now um, what I like to do is fray the ends, and I'm going to show you how I do that. 
Um, using my needle nose pliers, I just go right down to the end and I go into the cords and I just kind of fray. And you just pull it up and we're separating we're separating the cords. Gives it a nicer look, I think. I always fray my ends. Okay, so there's one side. And now we're gonna do the other side. We're just fraying them. Okay, and there you have it. It's all finished, ready to go. And I hope you enjoyed this video.